Hey guys. <laughs> hey, uh, we, okay, what we're doing right now, we finished the, the video of mixing everything and putting in the mold. So we decided to show you how we're gonna mold it. It's just like a lot of molds, you know, uh, silicone molds. The pot prints we showed you before. Here is one that I just uh, molded from the one that got a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna show it to you later. But this is the one that came out better. And I did this a few days ago, a couple of days ago. But you know, I, the other one was a little bit too um, soft, so I decided to do it now. All right, so let's find out how to do it. So we're gonna move the camera closer and show you uh, what we did. All right, go for it, Kelsey. Okay, so this shampoo bar for dogs, I uh, researched it everywhere on the internet and asked if people they already make shampoo bars for, dog, for dogs and they suggested that I use those kind of oils so I made my own recipe and I'm using castor oil, neem seed oil, coconut oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, and shea butter. These are all good oils for dog uh, skin and also for their fur, you know, for their hair. Then you know I also want to enter. Uh, also, I'm gonna put some. Um, I'm gonna put some of this uh, beautiful uh, colloidal oatmeal because you know a lot of dogs have a sensitive skin, and we're gonna do, and we're gonna put this in there for that purpose to help sensitive skin dogs. And then I made a, a mix of my um, of oils or essential oils to help with you know with like fleas and. Uh, tick bites and all kinds of stuff and to repel them actually too. So what I have in here, I have citronella oil, lavender essential oil, and um, uh, tea tree essential oil. That also is an antiseptic and it's good for people and dogs. So um, it's a very good mixture. All right, so we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna use a colorant. It's gonna be a natural soap because we don't want our beautiful uh, pets to be in you know, uh, to have problems. But I'm gonna use this beautiful green colorant here. And it's not mica. It's actually spirulina powder. And we're gonna use it just on the paws. Okay, I'm gonna on the little paw print indentation there. I'm gonna show you when I'll do that, when I do that. Okay, so that's our colorant for a little, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little tiny bit of it. Okay, so let's go and let's do this. All right, what I have here, um, my oils are already at room temperature, and because it's kind of cold today, and um, it's kind of about 70 degrees, maybe 65. I think last time I measured my line was about 66. So that's what the lie is about, about 66 Fahrenheit. So let's go and put it over here for now. Let me make a little adjustment here. All right, so um, before I start, before I put my lye in there, I'm gonna put the colloidal oatmeal and actually I also put some sodium lactate in there. That helps the uh, soap part to be uh, nice and firm when we when we unmold it. It's also, it's also good for the skin, for dog skin too, because it's a humectant and then you know, moisturizer, so it's a good thing. So here goes our um, oatmeal, and we're gonna blend it up before we put the lye in, okay? So we blend this up before we put the lye in. All right, so I um, mixed in the oatmeal, so now I'm gonna put in uh, uh, the lye water here, sodium hydroxide, gonna put it in there. And we're gonna blend it and make sure that it's kind of emulsified. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my uh, butter uh, and put it in a little container and put some spirulina powder that's gonna be for the little coloring later. So there we go. Now we're gonna blend it up. All right, I'm back after the blending here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some of this batter in this little tiny container over here. And then we're gonna uh, put some spirulina powder there. And there's gonna be a nice green color. Okay, let's do that. Mm. 
maybe just a little bit. Maybe a little more. That's going to be for the whatever coloring. Okay. So let me move this aside. I'm going to color this, this spirulina here. And I'm not going to put any... Okay, so here we are. I'm going to fill the little cavities over there, over here, with a little soaps here with my little pipette. I know it's going to take me a while, but it's worth it because I want it to look perfect. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to put my mixture of uh, essential oil in the main batter over here and I'll show you guys what we did, what I did while you were, you know, in the meantime when we stopped because it took me forever, it took me about, I don't know, 20 minutes to do that because the batter got really thick and uh, I had to stop and think, you know, oh, I'm going to do this. So I had to stop using the pipette and do something else. So I used a spoon and I used uh, Q-tips, <laughs> all kinds of things to, to make sure that it would, uh, you know, work the way I wanted to. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to thicken this one a little bit because it's a little bit too liquid. It's not going to take that long, it's going to take just a couple. Yeah, I think it's perfect. It's a trace now. It's just the way I want it. And I'm going to move this in a, in a different container because this doesn't have a spout. It is going to be hard to put it in the little paw prints there. So it'll be just a second, I'll be back. I'm going to start pouring this into the mold and look it's set up so nicely so this is perfect oh my god this is so nice this is beautiful this is really really what I expected I'm going to plans so many times things don't go to plans but this is so well, that's a good thing Okay, so we have our cute paw prints. And we're gonna. So I got six over here, and I have six more. Over here, let me grab them. The six one. These are not as perfect as the other ones, but that's all right. I think they're beautiful. There, we don't want to waste all this beautiful batter. I have a round mold here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in my round mold. bit of the green in there too. Because we don't want them to be left out.
but I have some little bones that I made um, a couple months ago and they're already cured and it's gonna be on top of these guys here we'll see how many we have And these actually have a bit beet powder in them. And this, actually this one has a spirulina. See, it discolors after a while because it's natural colorant. It's not like mica or anything. I mean, mica, mica are natural too, but they are manipulated. So a little bit, right, Kelsey? Right. So we're gonna put these in there. All right, and there we go. There you have it. Our puppy soap. Um, this, we're not going to cut it because, you know, they're in molds already. Uh, but, you know, we're going to mold it and see what it looks like. See if you guys like them. But these are, you know, all natural soap bars for dogs. That we call shampoo bars for dogs shampoo to whatever you want to call it and there you have it so we're gonna see you guys in about i don't know probably this is gonna stay for a week okay so let's uh, mold one of these cute ones i had to put them in the freezer a little bit to make sure that they will not come out weird because that's the last time i didn't okay so there you go on those cute work when we already sold a bunch of them that's when we made more because we have requests. If you guys would, would like to buy one of those bars, you can go to our Etsy shop or um, you can go to our Facebook page and message us and we'll send it to you from there too. Kelsey, if you can move the camera in a little bit. Kelsey is my cameraman here, camera lady. So these are the cute little paw prints and they're gonna stay, they're gonna cure for about four weeks five weeks we're gonna test the pH in uh, soap there with our strips and see where it goes and we're gonna post it online when they're ready and I also made this so these Kelsey if you can follow me with with the camera these over here are actually the little bones that I made okay so if you guys uh, liked this video please give us thumbs up Please don't forget to subscribe. We love having you here. If you're new to our channel, we're gonna make more videos, all kinds of different stuff, not just soaps. We're thinking about making a lipstick one again, maybe a cream one in a, in a little pot. Right, Kelsey? Right. I think Kelsey's gonna be the one making that because she's a lipstick gal. And we'll let you know when we're gonna do that. So follow us so you can see all kinds of different things we are gonna make. All right, so I'll see you guys to the next one. Thank you for watching. See you later and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.